Lures like this are great to mimic fish like this. So today we will be using these jigs like this. These are metal jigs. I think this is two ounces right here. And uh, we're just gonna cast it out, drift it, and hit whatever else is feeding on these, these mullet here. We are back at Sebastian Pier, one of my favorite places to fish. And I'm here with my friends, Chris and Michael. And tonight, I'm gonna catch the biggest land-based fish of my life. I'm not even reeling, I'm just, I'm just like letting it drift. Can you feel the bottom? No. On. Another bluefish. There's a bunch of bluefish. Oh, God. as far as I can out there. Yeah. I wonder if anyone's ever hit a bird casting a diamond jig like that. Probably. I've come close twice already today. If I connected, I would've killed him. Oh, again. again. How many ounces you got? Um, I think that's two. Oh, shit. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Are you sinking it? Yeah, oh yeah. I'm not even reeling. I'm just putting it on. Uh, I think mine's about an ounce and a half. Oh, I just lost it. I found him. Oh, I found him. <laughs> hey, Aaron. Come here. I'm entertained. Right? Yeah, I'm entertained. I love bluefish. It's so much fun. It's a bluefish, dude. Throw it out again. There we go. Holy crap, look. Inside his mouth is a mullet. Oh, look. Oh my god. I'm serious. Look at that. There's a mullet in his oh mouth. Oh my goodness. It swallowed it whole. Dang. So I'm throwing something that looks exactly like what just fell out of the fish's mouth. Look at that. It's a long way in. And it's fighting against all the current out there. Oh. It's like, it's like standing in the middle of the canal trying to do it. Oh my god, I think it just got me. Took it, took it over somebody again. You took the whole thing. Uh, I got, no, I think I, I got you. It's so hard, man. Like, like that. Oh, nice, Mike. It's <laughs> <laughs> hard, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect example. On the circle hook? Yup. Oh, that's 
Is that a bluefish he's on? He's he throwing a flare hawk. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to a flare hawk. What you doing now? Me too. I don't think I'm getting down here. As the sun goes down, the big fish come out. And I'm thinking, I want to catch the biggest fish on the pier. So I'm going to switch things up. Today we're going to be using the flare hawk. And this thing, it catches big fish. There's a lot of big fish lurking around here. And this is the bait of choice for a lot of different anglers. I have not really used this since the last time I lost my mega sized fish. Oh my god! Uh, it, I've kind of been scarred, but I tr I'm gonna try it again because I know that this is a really good time to be using it. So, without further ado, I'm gonna give it a try. So with, with this, you wanna bounce the bottom. You wanna cast it out and kind of let the current take it. Anyways, I, I'm, not, I'm not good at this. I'm gonna give it a try. I know how to use a bucktail for striped bass, but I've never tried it for, uh, I've never tried it too much for snook. As I'm casting, you kind of have to walk with it because all the water's moving really fast that way. And I'm feeling the bottom, and as soon as I feel the bottom, I'm lifting the tip up like that. Piss, he's mad. He's mad and he's stressed. Oh, it's a big red. Oh, it's a big no, snook. No, Brendan, it's a snook. Can I have a net? Yes. Net. Thank you. Oh my goodness! Holy oh, shit, Holy Brandon. crap, I hit that on a flare hawk! Alright, let's get this unhooked real quick. Holy crap, get him out. I need this. Get him out. Get, down, get, this get a measurement. Bigger than the ruler. Bigger than the ruler. Holy crap! Oh my gosh. How'd it feel? That felt great. I think we should let this go. Yeah, definitely. We should let it go ASAP. Can you yeah. get a picture? Holy crap. Thank you. I didn't get a measurement. No, it was like 35 or 36. Right? No, it was way past 33. It was like, I, I don't know. <laughs> that was big fish. I would say that was upper 30s. Holy crap. It was past 33, the ruler was 33. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I would say 38 if I had to hazard a guess. I should have measured it. Thanks, buddy. Another one hooked up. And have you hooked him up with a flare hook? Yeah. Not this season, though. That's All right, dude. Quick picture, let me get it back in the water. Yeah. All right. All right, let me get it back in. Come here, buddy. Big one. Give that about a five for Awesome. awesome. Good job. I'm glad you Thanks, got, guys. On, got on the last one, last second. Right? Of course, yeah. now I gotta cast again though. Yeah, you can't leave now. It's, oh. <laughs> so wh what are you doing with your flare hawk to, to get the hit? So all you're doing is you're casting it. I'm, I'm casting as far as I can. Then to drop to the bottom, and you'll feel it skip along the bottom, and you just flick it off the bottom. So what it looks like is a bait fish, so you're on the bottom and jetting up. 
All right, it is getting far too dark here and I can't have this big light shining on everyone's face. So I'm gonna have to cut it off here. You want a flare hop? Yeah. Same one, you should put it on here. Where's your rod? This one or this yeah, one? Either one. Let's set this up. I'll show you how to set this up. This. How heavy is it? This is a two ouncer. And look how huge they are. Yeah, nighttime is the right time. Yeah. Really basic setup. It's just a leader line, 40 pound leader line, straight to, to braid. And what you're going to want to do is cast it. Once you feel it touch the bottom, pick it back up. Touch the bottom, pick it back up. Once you can't feel the bottom anymore, something's wrong. You know, you'll feel, you'll feel a tuk 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 and then set the hook. All right? So every time you're gonna walk away, I'm just gonna hook up again. It's gonna Stop be great. doing that. We're gonna be here until two, three in the morning. Works for me. This one's angry. Oh, nice swimming at me. It's the exact same spot as the last one. Net. Net. Yeah, he was swimming at me the whole time. Oh my god. He was sleeping. I think. Where'd you hit this guy? Exact same spot as last time. Alright. There's a hole out there, huh? Yeah. It, remember I said you kind of ding the the rock? Uh-huh. It's right there. There he is. Got it. We got wrapped around the rope. My line's all in that rope. Boom! Yeah. Just getting bigger. Oh. All right, I got a tie up, dude. Yeah, go ahead. I got a tie up. I'm staying. Do you want to hit me your phone? Nah, I'm just going to let this one go. Okay. That is big snook. <laughs> Ouch! Oh my goodness, that All was right. a big snow. Alright, come on buddy. Back in the water. Nice. Seven. Give that one a seven. That was awesome. We got a lot of fish tonight. And I'm really glad that I, I caught a fish on the flare hawk first try. It was so awesome. There's nothing like a fish hitting a jig versus hitting live bait. When they hit a jig, they really go and try and devour it and kill it. Whereas bait, sometimes they don't even know they're about to get hit. You know, they hit completely different. Comment below, what is your favorite lure to use? What is your favorite thing to use to catch fish? Do you feel like you got redemption? I definitely feel like I got redemption. The last time I lost a huge fish on the flare hawk, I got an even huger fish this time. That was awesome. I just wish I could have gotten a better measurement. I hope this helps you. Our mission here at Hay Skipper is to help as many people get on fish as possible. And we actually have a peer adventure guide where we show you all sorts of different techniques to catch fish on the pier. If you want to check that out, we have a crash course on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. I had fun. I hope you guys had fun. Thank you all for watching. See you next week.